It's the perfect bite, a little bit of everything. The only thing missing is a little cayenne pepper for some spice, but well, this will do. Mmm. Wow. Honestly, I can't even tell that I'm having cauliflower. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Myra from Low Carb Love, and today we're gonna be making a keto potato salad. So it's like a faux potato salad, but it is so close to the real deal. You guys are gonna be so obsessed. Um, my girlfriends actually threw me a surprise birthday party. This was one of the dishes that my girlfriend Hannah brought. Hannah knows carbs, so I will link her Instagram so you guys can check her out. Um, she got this recipe from someone else, so it was just kind of like she got it from somewhere and then threw in her little touch, and now we're gonna do the same thing. So we are making this with a um, with a fresh, you know, head of cauliflower. If you want to make your life easy, just buy the pearled um, cauliflower, rice cauliflower, whatever you want, because this actually has to be boiled. So before we get started with everything else, I'm going to go ahead and start chopping this up and I'll show you the size that I'm going to, um, that I'm going to leave it so that if you guys are just purchasing a head of cauliflower, <laughs> then you guys can uh, do the same thing. So we're just gonna take off the little, um, what is this called? I forgot, but the little butt. We'll call it a butt for today. I know it's called something like, I don't know, the core, the, I don't know. Okay, so if you guys wanna make this just for a party, for a special gathering, you know, the holidays are coming up. So you guys are going to want to make this for sure. And not only for that, you guys will continue making this for, um, what do you call it? For, barbecues, things like that, because it is that good and you guys are going to be so obsessed. So let's go ahead and take off the, what is it called? God, what is it called? The inside, the little hard part. Well, I've heard it, I've heard it be called something else, but okay, we'll call it the stem. Val's the professional. You know what I'm talking about though, right? The hard part. Okay. No, not the leaf, not the leaf. Let me know what this is called guys right here. We are having a hard time trying to figure out what it is called. Let us know in the comments below so you, we can feel embarrassed. Okay. So you don't want that. If you do, I mean, if you want it, you can totally eat it, but. Um, I was like, why is my cutting board so little? I usually cut on this big one here, but um, just for the purpose of saving time, we are going to just um, cut this into small pieces. You will wanna leave the pieces as big as you would want your potatoes to be. Um, so, you know, somewhere along this size here or tiny, like, you know, I mean, this is your potato salad, so if you wanted to leave a piece this big, it's up to you. Okay guys, so I filled this up almost to the top. It's about, you know, up to here, like two inches away. We're gonna boil this while I chop up my cauliflower. Okay, so here is our cauliflower. Um, some chunks are a little bigger, like this one, but it's gonna be okay because, I don't like that, because it will, um, they'll be nice and tender. So let's go ahead and put them into our boiling water. And 
I like mine, like I said, I like mine really cooked. I don't like hard pieces of cauliflower. So um, I will let mine cook a little bit longer, but I will let you know how long I cook mine for. And if you don't want, if you want yours a little more like al dente, then um, I will let you know right now the how long, okay? So we will be back. Let's go ahead and finish up the rest of our ingredients. Okay, so while our cauliflower is um, boiling, we are going to just uh, dice our little celery. Thinly sliced. I have to be careful with my nails because I have long nails. Okay, do this little guy. Alrighty, and you are going to do two stalks of celery. If you really like celery, you can do three because this is your salad. So um, here's our celery, nice and chopped. Okay, so for the onion, we're gonna do a fourth of a cup or quarter cup. And we're gonna use this little baby for another recipe. So you're just going to finely chop this if you can. Oh my gosh. Our onion is falling apart, guys. Our onion is not cooperating right now. Hold on. Just making little slits in it like this. So, hopefully a lot easier. So you just need a quarter cup of onion, okay? That's about maybe a little more than a quarter cup. We only need a quarter cup unless you are obsessed with onion, which will be about, it's about a quarter cup right there. And we will just make room and scoot it over right here. Okay. So there is our onion, okay? So we have our onion and our celery. Okay, so I'm just checking my cauliflower. It is soft enough for me. This was about seven, eight minutes. Okay, so if you want it al dente, I would just do about five minutes and um, then you would drain. So that's what we're gonna do now. Let's go ahead and drain. Okay, so next we are going to use our dill pickles. So let's go ahead and grab it. I really like pickles, so I'm doing two, but you could just do one. If you hear some noise, just life going on here in my house, guys. Okay, so, and these are baby, right? These are not, they're, small in my opinion so let's go ahead and dice these little guys So this is obviously a lot of pickles, but again, I love pickles. So you would use one, okay? The recipe is one pickle, but I used two. Okay, so let's pour these little guys in here. So we can continue with our, um, with our ingredients. So we have our pickles, we have our celery for the crunch. Onion. Okay, so okay, so now we just chop up our little green onion. If you don't like green onion, then of course you do not need this, but I do, so we are doing it. 
and you could use this as a topping or like me I'm actually going to mix it in We'll use some of the white part, not the whole thing. Probably to there. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna set this aside and move on to our eggs. So we're gonna go ahead and peel this little guy. We've already peeled four others. And Peel it over the fridge, I mean over the trash, but I just want to show you. Take these off. Very easy. And now let's cut. Okay. So now, we put our eggs in. I'm leaving one, that egg over there. I have one little egg. We're leaving that to top. This little guy, we will leave it to slice and top our potato salad. So, um, we are finishing up the last of our mayo. Um, if you guys want to use a really healthy mayo, then look for an avocado-based mayo. Um, mayonnaise, different brands that are made with um, soybean oil is not like the best choice. Um, I still haven't transitioned myself into avocado oil-based mayonnaise, but I know that I will have to. Okay, so we are using half cup because remember we are making half a recipe, but if you're making the full thing, then of course you're just gonna double all the ingredients. Half tablespoon of mustard. We'll just put it right into the mayo. Okay, so now let's go ahead and add a little, we're just gonna do some pepper. This is two taste, but if you want a measurement, I would do like an eighth to a, about an eighth of a teaspoon, depending on how much you like pepper. Um, and same for the salt, just a good pinch of salt. Okay, if you want a measurement, always start off with an eighth and then move up to a quarter and you know, so on and so forth. Okay guys, so we have all of our ingredients in here. Now let's go ahead and add our cauliflower. So we are you, we are dumping out our little cauliflower, our faux potato. I know, it's such a funny word, huh? And let's go ahead and add the rest of our ingredients, okay? So we're just going to throw that all in. Okay, and here is our mayo with our mustard. Let's go ahead and add that in. And of course, if you guys wanna add a little bit more or a little less of anything, Always feel free to do so. Comment down below if you have a secret for a potato salad. Um, I'm always, always happy to hear your suggestions and I know everybody else likes to uh, hear them as well. So I'm gonna start by mixing all this. A little more pepper, but of course guys you have to love pepper in order to you know Like this is just because I love I love seasoning my food. I love it to taste The bomb Okay, tell me if this doesn't look like potato salad You guys are gonna be so in love right now. Thank you Hannah for introducing this to us. I told you they surprised me right for my birthday. They brought this over and I was like, oh, I have to share this with everyone. Okay guys, so we mixed everything in and what I'm gonna do is add one tablespoon of sour cream. So this is like a thick sour cream. We're adding one tablespoon and we're gonna give it a mix. Let's see if, we might need one more because this is a lot. I didn't realize it was so much, um, 
so much, uh, you know, potato salad, but I just don't want to add more mayo just because I'm always calorie conscious and sour cream is thick and creamy. So we might add one to two tablespoons of sour cream. So make sure that you taste yours and you judge, do you need one more tablespoon or are you good? So I will see right now. Okay guys, and now for the final taste test. So I've of course already taken little bits of it because I had to make sure that everything was perfect. And it is, but I know you guys like seeing the taste test, so here we go. It's the perfect bite, a little bit of everything. The only thing missing is a little cayenne pepper for some spice, but this will do. Mm. Wow. Honestly, I can't even tell that I'm having cauliflower. This tastes like potato salad. Not even like potato, just potato salad. You just have to try this. You're gonna love it. You can make it for Thanksgiving, for Christmas, for any barbecue, holiday, potluck. This is going to be a staple in your home. I guarantee it. If you like potato salad, you're gonna love this. And even if you're not low carb or keto, this is just a great alternative to cut back on carbs. If you're trying to make healthy lifestyle changes, this is a great way to start. Start off by cutting out sweeteners, by trying to lower your carbs, by cutting out maybe some gluten. Things like that are going to help you. Um, are just gonna help you improve your health, okay? And I'm not a physician, I'm not, you know, disclaimer. This is just things that have helped me and my family and it's what I like to share with you guys. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this recipe. Make sure that you tag me when you make this. I wanna hear and see your reactions to this because I'm telling you it is so delicious. Um, tag me on Instagram and of course, make sure that you're following me there, following me here on YouTube. And of course, turn your post notifications on so that you don't miss any of my recipes. Guys, I love you so much. I hope you enjoyed this video and recipe and I will see you on the next one. Mwah.